if it was an ad or something that came on the TV or something just triggered it. But one of my friends was just like, what about Lucille Brawl? And I was like, oh, and that was it. We didn't ask, we didn't spitball any other names that night. That was it. <laughs> that was the one. And it has stuck ever since. <laughs> I'm surprised that no one has ever like ever used it because it's such a it's it's such a cool thick name. I was very very shocked because I I heard it and I was like I bet you someone else has got it and I did my search and all uh, a lot of derby girls like uh, roller derby girls use it. There's been a few roller derby girls that use it, but in yeah. the ray of wrestling there was nothing and I was like right that's it and I had to I changed all my social medias over I needed to have it like set <laughs> so that I had it there ready to go because if anyone else took it by that point I would have been super sad <laughs> oh but, but but like the original character did you plan it to be like a 1950s like spin-off was that the original there was game? definitely there was definitely um a part of it uh it was kind of Originally, when we, we spitballed the name, we were like, well, now we have to go with, like, a Lucille Ball kind of gimmick. And um, we sort of we sort of played with it a little bit and what I could do and, and all that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, it just wasn't – it just wasn't me. I wasn't going to be able to do it to the do its full justice um, as a character. And I wanted to really do something that I knew I was going to be able to play properly and do properly and uh, portray properly. Um, and so I said, well, look, if we just get away from that idea completely – how about we go into like the superhero, super villain kind of thing? Because I really love comics. I love the comic movies. You know, I watched Spider-Man as a kid, all that kind of stuff. And I'm like, Lucille Brawl kind of st- sounds a bit of a, like a superhero name, right? Like, you yeah. know, the, they have really cool names like that. I feel like we could still work with it. And so that's sort of where we went into um, and where the whole character sort of got built from. Yeah, nice. And I, I think as well, like going in a 1950s sort of style, like, I don't know, like that would have been a hard gimmick to sort of really sort of deliver on every single time. And Absolutely. And I think that's where it was sort of uh, like, what was I, how was I going to be able to deliver that every single show? And what was I going to do? And what was going to be how I portrayed myself? And then we realized it was just going to be, it was probably going to be okay at first. It would have gotten real boring real quick um and you wouldn't be able to do much with it and i think it was just one of those things like look you know what let's just throw it out we can keep the name the name still sounds pretty superhero we let's get, let's just work with that <laughs> so the gimmick the gimmick now like as a superhero like mm-hmm. i'm imagining it like this is a very baby face gimmick yeah it, it is and uh, originally i actually built my whole character around being a heel uh, funnily enough, because I um, was told when I was training that I had a very angry face whenever I did anything <laughs> and that I always looked really grumpy and I always looked real intense and that I would be great to be a heel. And so throughout my whole training, uh, I was told that I was going to be a, uh, I was going to be a heel. Yeah. And then I came out and did my rumble spot and I was face and everyone loved me and they're like, nah, this you're not heel, your face. <laughs> so I like designed, you know, black and green and I, you know, designed my logo around the Hydra logo, logo and all that kind of stuff. And they're like, no, nope, your yeah. face. I'm like, right, well, we'll work with it then. <laughs> Cause I've already got the gear made. <laughs> <laughs> have, have you ever like, have you ever tried to work heel? I've done a little bit. Uh, when uh, Bobby and I did EPW, uh, we worked as a heel tag team over there. It was a lot of fun. I, um, I think I, found it pretty easy because I could play off Bobby quite a bit and he's just an amazing when it comes to character work uh, in general he's just incredible so to be able to bounce off him made it a lot easier for me but I have done a little bit of it yeah not yeah. much though <laughs> do you think like with your character being a superhero that it would be difficult to be a heel with that like do you think you would have to change your your character completely to make it a heel no, I don't think so. I, um, I've already sort of thought about this because obviously there's probably going to be a time in where uh, someone's going to want me to do heel for, a, for a quite a decent amount of time. And um, there's always a way to make a superhero not seem like a superhero, but have them still think they're a superhero. Um, mm-hmm. There's been lots of instances in movies and TV shows and all that kind of stuff where someone thinks they're the good guy and thinks they're doing everything right when really they're just doing everything wrong. Um, and so if I play it that way, um, I think I'm not going to have any issues um, if I just if I do need to be a heel at any point. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, I like to 
I'm one of those people who likes to think of everything and every possible scenario ahead of time. So if anything happens that I can work my way around it. So it's all, it's all up here. It's all ready to go if I need to. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, as, as far as now, like you're a coach, right? Like you, you were training guys, you and Bobby up there. So I'm not so much, I'm more of an assistant. Um, Bobby does most of the training. I just go in and help, you know, every so often. 